In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use the speed ramping feature in Filmora 12. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Now, let's begin by adding the video that we want to add the speed ramping feature to. Let's add it to the timeline. Let's go with the settings that we want here. And here's our video. It's just a car just moving in that particular direction. Let's assume we want to add a speed ramp to make it more dramatic and so on and so forth. Then we can use the speed ramp and it's available uh, through a couple of methods. So uh, if I uh, hover over this particular icon, it's the speed icon. And if I click on it, you'll see uniform speed, speed ramping, what we want to use, slow, fast, normal, freeze frame, and reverse. If I click on uh, speed ramping, it's going to open up the speed ramping options under speed uh, via this menu. Then the reason why we're getting this is because we are in the uh, classic layout. Now, another way to get to the speed ramping feature is just by double clicking and then going to uh, the uh, options available, speed, speed ramping, ATC. Now, the way I'd uh, look at it uh, or speed up my process is by changing my layout to default. And once I do that, you'll have it here. So for example, if I come up here and click on speed ramping, it takes me directly there. I can just resize this slightly and move this slightly. We can see the different options available. By default, the speed ramping is set to none, but you have the option to customize your own speed ramp and then use the default. There's a montage, hero moment, bullet time, jumper, flash in, flash out, scroll down slightly, and then there's skate shots. So uh, kinda the way it's used is more in things like skating, for that kind of cinematic movement that you'd like to see, especially when people are skating uh, on maybe a course or something. So uh, let's say we want to add, let's say something like a montage. Once I click on that, you'll notice that our clip reduces from 37 seconds to 25. And you can see where the movement happens right here on this particular timeline. And then if I go back home, we can play it. That is what it looks like. And then it accelerates. There we go, it's going to accelerate really, really fast. There we go, and then slows down, and then moves back up slightly. Goes up slightly, and then back to normal speed. So, looks really, really good, uh, the way it looks like that. If you go for something like, uh, let's go for, for a hero moment, and we can actually set our clip here. If we play this, moves really fast, and then dips down, to almost a snail speed, goes down, goes down, looks really good. Uh, you can add a freeze frame right here. Click on that, freeze frame, we can reduce the number of seconds to about, let's say two, apply. So right inside here, we're going to have a freeze frame. So if I can play this, there we go. And then the freeze frame comes in right there. There we have a freeze frame, really, really awesome. And then it continues with the speed ramp effect looks really really good uh, you can also customize your own speed ramp let's say customize and then you can change these points the way you want them to be let's bring this one down bring this one up click here add another one uh, bring that particular point down and then you can save it as a custom so that you can reuse it over and over again so uh, if we go back home right there Let's play, there we go, super fast, slows down, and then goes up super fast, very, very fast, there we go, and then slows down. So it's, if that is something you'd like to use, then you can use it. We also have the option to maintain audio pitch. Now this is important to avoid having gibberish kind of audio in your video. So I always ensure that this one is checked, it's already checked by default, uh, so that you can actually uh, keep everything sane for that matter. So let's save it as custom. Let's say, uh, let's say good movement and then click on OK. So once you do that, you'll see it right about there and you can delete it uh, depending on uh, what you want. So that is how you can use the speed ramping feature in Filmora 12. I hope this video is of value to you. Thank you so much for watching.